Coach, you're battling for a playoff spot, and uh, you know this is close enough uh, to a playoff game. I thought the guys really came up with a second effort tonight. Yeah, I mean, this is playoffs, right? I mean, if we don't make playoffs, this is playoffs. And I told the guys we need to prepare for this like playoffs. So we, you know, probably practice a little harder than we normally would at this time of the year. But, you know, we know this is do or die. I mean, Saskatchewan's ahead of us in the standings. It's coming down to us, Saskatchewan, UBCO, and Manitoba for the last two spots. And I give the guys credit for working themselves into, you know, meaningful games. They didn't have a lot of meaningful games last year. Uh, the first semester was poor and uh, we've given ourselves a chance to play meaningful games and that's how you grow as a team to be in these situations and, and battle. Whether you win or lose, we battled tonight and, and I was happy with the guys. First two sets very, very close. Absolutely and we knew Saskatchewan was going to come in here and uh, play tough, you know, and it's nice to be home. I mean, I think we got a, a little more comfortable feel. I think the guys are a little more rested, ready to go and it, it showed. So we had some rough spots and, and some lapses, but uh, we kept coming back and I was, I was happy with the effort tonight. Last week you praised Landon Curry, tonight he's player of the match. Yeah, you know, it's tough. We, we switched our, our lineup up to have two passers out there and, and Landon is a first year guy and doing an incredible job. And they went after him tonight, hoping they could break the, the rookie and they didn't. And uh, he's, he's taken a lot on as a first year guy. So what do you expect on Saturday? Oh, I think they're going to be better. They got a day to, to get used to being out here, and uh, you know, usually the road team's better the second night. So we, we have to be prepared. We you know we can celebrate for five minutes, and we got to start moving on.